That'll be all. Get them out as soon as you can. Yes, sir. Oh, Butterfly. Yes, Mr. Dumbo. Did you call the agent and tell them they'd need a magician to replace the great voodoo? Yes, sir. I told him the great voodoo did a disappearing act yesterday and didn't show up for rehearsal. He's going to send us another magician. Fine. Oh, and when my fiance shows up, send her right in. They are real, honey. I should hope so. Butterfly told me to go right in, so I did. I'm glad. Take off your coat. Oh, Montemore, they are precious. You could say that again, honey. Excuse me, honey. Never heard of him. Tell him to wait. Yes, sir. Help me with these, darling. Uh-huh. There we are. For this, you deserve a big kiss. Well, I've been welcome before, but never like this. I guess I shall return the compliment. Come here, baby. Why, you, I should break your neck. Mm -hmm. no. Tempo, tempo. Ah, 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 ah. You see, uh, entering the room without coming through the door, that's just a sample of my ability. I developed that trick because I had difficulties in getting someone to open the door. Uh, say, uh, your name ain't Richard Chase, is it? No, it's Mortimer. But I'm Mr. Dum Dome to you. Oh, okay, boss. And I'm not your boss until I see your act. Step right out on the stage, and I'll set up for you. Come on, honey. Let's see what this guy has up his sleeve. What's your name? Butterfly. Pretty girl. <laughs> and a pretty name. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> well, you see, I had to set up my props, brother, so I wouldn't lose any time. Yet. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, madam, would you mind assisting me by stepping into this cabinet? She will not. You've got your nerve. I know I've got my nerve, but I ain't got no assistance. Oh, Montemore, let me. I have always wanted to be a play actress. Where is she? She's gone. Huh? What's the matter? Something wrong? If you want to lose that gal, everything would be fine. Cause they sure is empty now. Bring her back, or I'm going to do something desperate. And so am I. I'm going to return these cabin tricks and get my money back. Close all the doors. Lock up the joint. Call the police. Quick, police. Variety theater. Something awful happened. Huh? I don't know. But as soon as I hang up, I'm going to find out. <laughs> My sweetheart disappeared with a thousand dollar string of pearls. That's how they all disappear. No, but you don't understand. You see, she was hit, she got into the cabin, and all of a sudden she got out of here, and I don't know where she... Uh, of course, I... I ain't the least bit worried. See, that trick is guaranteed. And if it don't work, I'll get my money back. <laughs> and you know, honey, money is important. You can buy a lot of things with money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like a ring. A real sparkle. <laughs> yes, see, but we've just met. We're practically strangers. That's 
right? Let me see. Who do I know intimately? Oh, but so we can get to know each other better. Oh, yeah? Why, honey, how much better? <laughs> there he is, Sarge. Grab him. Oh, killer Dilla, eh? Do what you want with me. But harm not a hair in that gal's head. Come on, Sarge. Grab him. Uh, see you later, baby. Save that candy for me. The Sarge wants you to reenact that crime. Yeah, and you can use one of my men. Okay. Step in there, shall I? Abby Cadella! Abby Cadella! <laughs> well, what do you know? And that's the way Lola disappeared. Hey, you. Would you mind trying that again? Both of you guys, get in there. We gonna get to the bottom of this. Abigadabba! Abigadabba! Now, don't worry about the thing now. I know they ain't here. They ain't the one over there. Ah, ah. Show you that. This chick has got to work once in a while. Ha, ah, ah. You see, I got to do it twice because there's two of me there this time. Don't get it. I'm a cadaver. A bad cadaver. I lose more darn cops that way. Suppose you try it with me. You see, uh... This could be a secret weapon, you know, or something like the, the atomic bomb. Come on, open the door. All right. You asked for it. Well, Where's the flower? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's over there. Wow, what do you know? It went. One, one, two, two, three, three. I'm even. I better quit while I'm even. Hey, you, take some notes. I'm gonna question this guy. Now, how tall did you say she was? About the size of Dusty. Dusty? Where is Dusty? Don't let him get away. All right, you go that way, you go this way, you go here, and I'll go there. Ready, set, go! No, no, no! Let's try that again, men. You know, if I'm a hit in this show, honey, I'd like to talk to you about marriage. You mean you want to marry me? Now, stop putting words in my mouth. I said I want to talk to you about it, that's all. Well, if you want to talk about it, now's the time because the place is padlocked. And unless Lola's promised, the dumb don't won't let the show go on. Your show must go on. There he is, grab him. Let's try that again, men. Not for me, you don't. Such a big boy is playing on the floor. Quick, he got away. Men. Tell everybody to get ready. The show must go on. That's just what Dusty said. <laughs> Open the box office. The show must go on. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Dom Dom. Oh. Dusty, 
owes it all to you. Does that mean you're going to get married? I said I owe it to you. We'd like to play a little number that features our two tenor men, Ray Abrams and Shirley Green. The number, Gator Serenade.
you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce a very clever song stylist, Beverly White. Yes, back in Grandma's day. But you men are so much different now. That's why you hear me
nobody's business what I do. Now, if I junk his flivver and buy him a Cadillac, love used to be the thing, honey, but you got to give these modern men some jack. So if I see something that's kind of young and nifty and I feel like slipping him 50, that ain't nobody's business what I do. union meeting and I feel like doing some cheating that ain't nobody's business what I do and if you happen to see me out kind of late well I'm doing the same thing you do and getting my business straight and it ain't what I do now if I look like I'm 50 and he's just 23 don't you lose no sleep honey cause he must be sending me Comes now those two tons of melody and mirth, Patterson and Jackson.
And now we'd like to impersonate the four ink spots. Of course, there's only two of us, but we weigh as much as they do. That's the way the ink spots usually start off. You put a nickel in the jukebox, and it goes whoo. When you hear that, your nickel's gone. If I didn't care more than words can say, if I didn't Would I feel this way? Hmm? And would I be sure that this is love beyond the compare? Would all this be true? Child, if I didn't care, why could I go on being your square, knowing that you may treat me fair, honey child? Now, honey child, you've got to change your style. Cause, honey child, you're driving me wild. Now, tell me, Holmes, if this isn't love, then tell me, what can it be? Why, it's worrying the heck out of me, honey child. Now tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, what is it that makes my head go round and round till I reach my quota? Uh, fine scotch. Scotch and soda. If I didn't care, would it be the same? Would my every prayer be in the eyes with just your name? Ah, sweet essence of meatballs and spaghetti. Sure, and this is love beyond compare. Ah, shoot the salami to me, mommy. Do it all, it's me too. If I didn't care, oh, And now we bring you that dynamic personality, Jackie Mabley. But between you and me, folks, she'd rather be called just plain mom. <laughs> Thank you, children. Thank you, darling. I know you children all relaxed back there, sitting back there, look at it, Bob. You think you're going to hear some jokes, don't you? Well, mom don't know none. Mom don't know no jokes, but I can tell you some facts. Don't believe in them fairy tales in the first place. So don't look for none, because that Mother Hubbard going to the cupboard after dog bones and things like that, that never happened. Mother Hubbard had her gin in the cupboard and one of them squares. You know how your friends can come in, them chiselers and drink you? So she used to tell them she'd go in the cupboard to get a dog a bow. She's going to get her a nip. Mother Hubbard was plenty hip, and you believe that. But 
Wait a minute, honey. You'll have to laugh a little louder. Mom can't hear you up there. That's it. Thank you very much. See, I can't hear very good mom tell you how that happened. When they sent, when they sent for me to come down to Washington, they had some business they wanted me to tend to down there. They sent for me and sent me an airplane ticket. No, it ain't, I ain't scared of an airplane. I'm no square, but as you young children said, just never move me, you know, to ride in no airplane. Shown sure up, no sooner than I got in the plane, they strapped me down. The plane ain't got up no ways hardly for something with glue up in my head like that. I ain't heard nothing since. Both ears stopped up. Oh, I was so sick. I said, honey, the students come to I said, honey, my ears is all stopped up. She said, here's some chewing gum. I showed that. That ain't unstopped them. I got right limp. I said, do something for me, honey. I'm dying. She said, drop your jaws. <laughs> And I misunderstood her. <laughs> so they grounded me in Baltimore. Yeah, they, they took me off. But outside of an airplane, uh, Luther, uh, play that piano for him and tell him that number where it tells you about something else that mom don't have played. Go on, Luther, play it for him. I guess everyone has their aggravations, especially in certain situations. Now, remember, I don't know what you children might be, but here's one thing that kind of aggravates me. For instance, company happened to drop in, especially if they've been drinking too much gin. I say, now, listen, if you're my friend, don't sit on my bed. Oh, now, don't get me wrong. It's not that I think that your clothes ain't clean. And you know, Mom, I ain't never been mean. But there's a chair. Sit there. Uh, don't sit on my bed. I always was taught that chairs was made to sit in and beds was made to sleep. You're liable to get my blanket out of line. Rumple up my sheet. Oh, it's not that I think that it looks so hot. But it's mine and it's all I got. In fact, I don't care if it ain't nothing but an army cot. Uh, don't, don't sit on my bed. Mattress start to getting all lumpy. Springs won't bounce no more. Sides will start sagging and... Slaps fall on the floor, and you know that's a drag. Then you go home feeling all happy and everything, and leaving me with an aching head. Listen, Ben, if you're my friend, uh, don't sit on my bed. In other words, don't crouch on the couch, son. I don't like it. Folks, have you ever heard of a potpourri of dance steps? Well, here it is with the Clark Brothers.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the King Cole Trio. I never lost my heart while stealing a glance, taking a chance, trying to romance. But when your eyes hang out that danger sign, ooh, kick a rooney. I never got excited making a date, meeting at eight, staying out late. But when you tell me Central Park is fine, ooh, kick a rooney. This is one time I can't say it's just one of those things. Since my heart spends all its time tied to your apron strings, I never had a yin for taking your arm, holding your charm, buying a farm. When you put your sweet, sweet lips to mine, ooh, kick a rooney. One time I can't say It's just one of those things Since my heart spends all its time Tied to you apron strings I never had a yen For taking your arm Holding your charm By the farm But when you put your sweet, sweet lips to mine Ooh, kick a rooney That's all Ooh, kick a rooney That's all song called Ooh Kick a Rooney. I thought all my troubles would be over if I found myself a four leaf clover. And I did. Then a farmer yelled at me and said I was standing in the middle of a poison ivy bed. Now he tells me. Closing number featuring our bass player Johnny Miller is called Breezy and the Bass. Ladies and gentlemen, those sensational kangaroos.
Where is Dusty Fletcher? Dusty goes on now. Find him somebody. Jackie, have you seen Dusty Fletcher? No. Oh. What are you doing? Fixing my hair. What with? With this. Oh, that's fine. And it's mine, and I ain't gonna let ninja none of it. Remember that. Say, uh, do me a favor, Jackie. What now? Rush out there and hold the audience until I find Dusty Fletcher. Hold oh, on, Claire. You sure is taking okay, place. Then. I'll do it. For oh, goodness sake. I don't know what the... I ain't ready, you know that. I hate to rush and do anything. Rush, right? Come on, come on, we. Come on. Wait a minute. I've got that. I've got everything. Wait, where's my teeth? Oh, I got it. Did you all hear the word about the guy? That uh... <laughs> Did I say something funny? Well, this guy come home one night, you know. <laughs> told a joke yet. <laughs> hey, will somebody shut them doors down there, please, so I can work? Hey, this a king. And this guy come home for a night. And guess who you say saw with it? Smash say, look here. Uh, 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 I've been around this man go around three times. Uh, see if you can get the brass ring. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I ask anyone up from the audience to assist me in this trick, I want to show you that whew, that both of these cabins is empty. Sorry, son. See you later, man. Well, uh, it's empty now. And uh, it ain't nothing in that one either. Come on, grab him, men. 
Ladies and gentlemen, no show is ever complete without a line of beautiful dancing girls. So, here they are. Get my suitcase. Uh, on the door, Richard. Hey, on my door, Richard. Oh, I'm saying, here. 